the 737 MAX, it is hovering over the show like a dark cloud. A lot of people talking about it. When will it be flying again? By the way, this discussion, this report that there's going to be test flights, recertification flights this week, Boeing shot that down. And by the way, it's not just the FAA that decides whether or not the recertification flight happens. It's also Boeing. And Boeing says they're just in the simulator this week. Could happen next week. Could happen a week after that. Here are what some of the key suppliers and customers for the 737 MAX have to say about when this plane might be flying again. Fix is done, right? The AOA sensors, all of the, the logic, all that's been done. This is really getting the regulators to understand how the fix has been implemented and make, giving them confidence uh, to recertify the aircraft. It really is up to the regulators and Boeing to prove to everyone, to us as buyers, to the airlines who operate the aircraft, and most importantly to the traveling public, that this aircraft is in fact safe and they've made it even more safe. Well, I, I have great confidence that we're going to see this thing in service sooner rather than later. By the way, again, as we take a look at shares of Boeing, we can't stress this enough. We talked about it earlier today. This report that there will be recertification flights this week, Boeing shot that down. We'll be talking with Dennis Mullenberg. Mullenberg, expect those flights probably to happen in the next week or two, but not this week. Take a look at shares of Lockheed Martin. We talked exclusively with Marilyn Houston, CEO of Lockheed Martin, earlier today. Her message is very clear. They're coming off a strong year, and it's getting even stronger, especially for defense spending here in Europe. I will tell you, amid all of that consolidation and other activity in the industry, we're seeing growth for Lockheed Martin. And our, our programs and our capabilities are well supported by the U.S. government's budgets. There's defense spending that's increasing here in Europe and, and around the world. And we're growing. By the way, I know we talk a lot about commercial airplane orders and deliveries uh, when we're here at this show, and clearly that's a big focus, but the defense side is getting more attention this year, guys, largely because we're seeing more defense spending around the world, and we heard that not only from Marilyn Houston, but we've heard it from others, especially those supplying the defense sector. Guys, back to you. Phil, uh, we went through, a, you, uh, you had Greg Hayes, then there was... Um Two other people. Uh, just can you identify who they were for us? Yep. I John, didn't John see it, Pluger. At least. John, John yeah. Pluger. Okay. It's John Pluger, who is the CEO of Air Lease Corp. You know, they are leasing out hundreds of airplanes to airlines around the world. In fact, they are the launch customer for the new Airbus airplane that was just announced today, the A321 XLR. And then you also heard from David Joyce, the CEO of GE Aviation. Remember, GE, along with Saffron, has the engines that are on the 737 MAX. So they are intimately involved in getting the MAX back to certification and back in the air. Is Airbus riding high at this show as the main competitor to Boeing? Yeah. You bet. You bet they are. In fact, uh, we're going to get an order tally a little bit later on today, and it's likely going to have most of the orders going to Airbus this year. Not too many orders going uh, to Boeing. But, yes, with the new A321 XLR, that's a big, big focus of the air show this year. And we're going to be talking with the CEO of Airbus a little bit later on today.